I got a dog named Jimmy Briggins. I got a dog named Jimmy Briggins. I got a dog named Jimmy Briggins. Jimmy Briggins is his name. Well, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the filthy kitchen. It's me, your host. Squatchman, and right here is Jimmy Briggins. Yeah! Jimmy Briggins is his name. Jimmy Briggins is sniffing the trash, making a menace out of himself, making me extremely, oh, shaking, are you? He's making me extremely nervous as I try to make this here sandwich. I got a dog named Jimmy Briggins. Yeah! I got a dog named Jimmy Briggins. I got a dog named Jimmy Briggins. Jimmy Briggins was his name. Now, what the heck is going on with this here baloney? This baloney is not like last time's baloney. Oh, look at that. Thin sliced. I don't want no thin sliced bologna. Me no like it, no thin sliced bologna. Yes, dog. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. What's that tail wiggling around for, huh? Why that tail be twitching? Oh my. Anyway. I'm just back. I went to work last night. I'm not feeling very well. Uh, I feel like my stomach is full of sugar. But I gotta take him to the to the hair salon to get his shampoo. So I gotta be there at 10 o'clock. It is now, if I had to guess. I would say 7.30. So, 7.42, uh, 7.42 in the morning. I got off work at seven, picked him up, came back. I don't feel very good. I'm thinking maybe if I had something to eat, I'd feel a little better. But anyway, little Jimmy Briggins is here, causing trouble. Can you see him? Can you see this guilty hound? Yes, old Jim. Yes, old Jim. By the way, the role of Jimmy Briggins is being played by Huey. This is his debut. So I got some toast here. Toast with butter, oh my. Toast with butter. And after I butter this here toast, I'm going to put some honey mustard down, a couple of slices of cheese, a couple of slices of bologna, and then I'm gonna have a few pickles. And hopefully this does the trick. I feel a little nauseous. I'll be honest with you. I feel a little bit nauseous. So I'm hoping some food will take the nausea away. Nausea, by the way, nausea, the, the C, N-A-U-S-E-A, -S -E actually means C. Nausea means seasickness. That's where it comes from. Nausea. You know, like uh, Nautilus and uh, same root as nautilus and na nautical nausea, seasickness. There you go. You learn something new every day when you hang out in the filthy kitchen. Unless you are a good for nothing cur like him, all he learns is that he wants food in his gullet. I got a dog named Jimmy Bliggins. Yes, how are you there, Jimmy? 
So a little honey mustard, spread that around, create a nice seal with the butter and the honey mustard, a nice uh, vapor barrier, so to speak. Keeps the liquid of the bologna out, as does the cheese. I'd say the cheese actually does the best. The cheese is the barrier. That's the fat barrier. I don't need this butter. I don't need butter. No. The honey mustard is good for flavor. The cheese will keep the bread nice and dry. But anyway, it's on there now. I'm not going to do nothing about it. A couple of slices of uh, cheese. These are Kraft single, Singles. Kraft Singles. No, I am not endorsed by the Kraft Company, nor would I want to be. These uh, food conglomerates, I believe they're all owned by Big Tobacco. And this stuff is not exactly health food. Um, Big Tobacco owns most of the snack food companies and they use the same nefarious techniques to get you addicted to their product and their product is also a big producer of industrial disease whether it's diabetes, cancer, uh, heart disease, those are the three big ones. They're called industrial diseases because they're basically, you get these diseases. The top 10 killers of human mind in modern times are industrial diseases, all of them. Cancer, diabetes, heart disease. These are created by lifestyle, poor diet, not sleeping correctly, processed foods, smoking, drinking, drugs. They're killing us, causing obesity, causing sickness all around. Speaking of which, I'm gonna wash my hands because I came from the plant and the plant is a filthy, inhumane environment. Ah. Anyway, what can I say? That was my morning rant. Get down, boy. You don't like sandwiches. You like compressed, meaty, powdery fare. Mostly flour and, you know, discarded bits of powdered animals. Anyway. I'll have a couple of pickles with this to feed my gut biome. My gut doesn't feel very good at the moment. And no, I'm not making very good dietary choices. Flour is, flour is terrible. They call Devil's Dandruff is a nickname for cocaine. He's on the Devil's Dandruff, but truth be told, I think the real devil's dandruff is flour. Refined flour. That is the killer. Sugar, I would say, is also devil's dandruff. But to tell you the truth, sugar and flour are basically the same thing. Pure carbohydrate. And powdered down like that means... It hits your system so quickly with no resistance. There's so much surface area on the flour and the sugar that your body just gets hit with this pure carbohydrate. It gets slammed with an insulin dump and then you don't need these empty calories. It's garbage, it's crap, it's terrible. I know, do as I say, not as I do. It's terrible, I'm addicted. This is food addiction. This is terrible stuff. Nobody should eat this crap. This is gonna kill me. I got the flour. The worst thing about this, is it the, the processed meat uh, cured with nitrates? 
Mm, to a degree. Is it the processed cheese food? That's not exactly cheese, it's mostly vegetable oil. Yeah, terrible stuff. But the flour, oh my God, and the sugar, huh, that's what's the real killer. So this is basically a cancer, diabetes, uh, heart disease sandwich. But I'm gonna get on the bike a little later. I'm gonna do my 650 um, calories. Hopefully I'll do a little boxing later on. Uh, I would like to lift some weights. I got this dog I got to get out of here in a couple of hours and send him off to the beauty salon, get him shampooed up. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You can yodel till the cows come home. Nobody's listening. Nobody's listening to the likes of you. Nobody's oh, over too. Anyway, woo, you want to say goodbye to the fine people out there in YouTube land? Yeah, YouTube land. YouTubers. Don't wave at them. They hate it. No. All right. Anyway. Till next time, who loves you, baby? This guy, don't forget about it. And remember, you're somebody's favorite person in this world. Probably mine. Last night was terrible. I missed my daughter so much. It was painful. I really had a sad evening. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, the new year now. Hopefully, before long, things will change because it's just dreadful. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Those of us going through tough times, remember we're gonna to try to think positive, we're gonna try to think well, we're going to try to endure with dignity, which is the fasting, and uh, yeah, we're just going to wait patiently and we're gonna to try to be hopeful. These are three tools that Siddhartha used. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna follow his, his guidance. Anyway, till next time, love you, talk soon, and goodbye.